Now let's check out how to use these functions in a practical way. Once you downloaded the latest version of Suit, be sure to place the folder in the right location, so SPM and MATLAB know where to find it. Although Suit comes with a graphical user interface, we will explain the functions using the command line. In this way, you can create your own scripts to automatize your pipeline. This is helpful, especially when you need to run several subjects. Before using Suit, we need to perform some preprocessing in your images. If you don't check these simple steps, you might run into problems. The first thing you need to do is to check that your images is in LPI orientation. If your image came out from the scanner in a different orientation, then they should be resliced. The second step is to set the origin of the image into the anterior commissure. This operation is necessary for the normalization. These two operations can be performed either in SPM or any other software. It is also important to remember that any image that you want to use for your analysis must be properly aligned to the anatomical image that you are using as your starting point. For this example, I will use a T1, a T2, and a functional image of one single subject. Before using Suit, I aligned all of them, therefore I can apply any deformation to any of the image with no problem.